I'm going to solve some of the problems here for the momentum uh, retake quiz. If you could load that document, here's number one. Um, I have it solved already. You can see I've got the givens over to the left, and the equation I'm going to use is FT equals M delta V. A couple things I want to point out. You need to find your change in velocity, and you want to remember that if you're going to the right, that's positive, and if you're going to the left, that's negative. So when you do your change in velocity, you're taking a negative 6 plus a negative 12. So you have to be careful there uh, or you'll end up with the wrong value. So you can see um, how I solved that here, set it up, and solved for f. I'm going to go ahead now and take a look at number 3. Number 3 has a girl sitting in a wagon, and she catches a medicine ball and then rolls away. So there's a before and after. So you want to find the momentum of the system before and then set that equal to the momentum of the system after. So to find the momentum before, you're going to find the momentum total before, you're going to take the momentum of the ball plus the momentum of the girl in the wagon. So my momentum total is going to equal the mass times the velocity of the ball plus the mass times the velocity of the girl. So the mass of the ball is 2.6 kilograms. You can see that in the paragraph above. And the velocity is 2.7 meters per second. The girl and the wagon are sitting still. So that momentum is 0. So we get 2.6 times 2.7. 7.02 kilogram meters per second. And we know that our momentum initial is going to equal our momentum final, law of conservation of momentum. So I'm going to have 7.02 is going to equal the mass of the ball plus the mass of the girl plus the mass of the wagon times the velocity of that wagon. So we're trying to solve for V in this case. So we're going to set it up like this. 2.6 plus 55 is the mass of the girl plus 11 is the mass of the wagon times V. And you can go ahead and solve for V. So 2.6 plus 55 plus 11, and then we're going to divide by that on both sides. So 7.02 divided by that answer, we get 0.10. The last one I'm going to solve is number 4, where we've got a car driving behind another car and it rear ends it, but then they keep moving in the same direction. So they bump into each other. I'm going to just set this one up for you because the answers are on the bottom of this document. So to find your momentum before, you're going to take the momentum of car one plus the momentum of car two, and that's going to be your momentum initial. And you're going to set that equal to your momentum final. And so what this is going to look like is M1V1 plus M2V2. And this side is going to be the same thing, M1V1 plus M2V2. And you're going to set those two things equal together. So I'm going to get this out of the way. And we're going to take this and set it equal to this using your before and after numbers. So you can see on the top, the before numbers, we start off at 20. And we hit the back of another car that's going 15. After they collide, I'll do in pink here, that first car is moving at 10. And then it's asking how fast is the second car going. So you're going to solve for that. All of the masses stay the same. The answers are on the bottom. Uh, number one, when I solved it, I got 22.5. So I think that's just a mistake in the key. Uh, but the rest are there, so you can double check your answers on the bottom. 
and you're going to go ahead and turn this document as credit for that quiz.